So there was a question by one of the reader and he wanted me to discuss about the overall drive test procedure. Now drive test itself is a whole convoluted subject and a number of questions can be asked in this case. However, if you know the overall procedure and how it takes place and then you can always give an idea or the information and those who have done drive testing in the past, they can affirm this that the procedure can be quite complex if we go into each detail of each of the topic however if you have a high level understanding or you have deeper understanding then you can easily know how all the dots get connected together uh, before we go into the overall procedure uh, let me tell you the overall idea with the drive test procedure drive test procedure is to make sure is your network or the tower and system which has been deployed is it working as accordingly as we would want it to be or not are the results which we want to see are they coming accordingly if they are not coming then what changes do we need to make into the parameters and what was specified in the radio network design the radio network design is something which is done at first or initially is everything coming according to as planned if not then what changes do we need to make and that overall procedure is termed as initial tuning or drive test procedure and the data which is collected during drive test procedure that is analyzed to find out what's going on because it's wireless and we cannot really see things what's going on we get the data and process it and it can be a cumbersome and time consuming task but let's take a look or summarize the overall procedure for initial tuning process and in this case you can connect the dots of the overall procedure so step one as you see here is tuning preparation and the preparations specifically include the high level radio network design what clusters you will be driving on what is the drive test route what measurements you will be taking so on and so forth and depending on the customer requirements the preparations are done some customers may not are interested in certain kpis whereas as others are some are not really interested in order to find out what's the max throughput their site can get they are interested in order to make sure that there are no call drop so based on for example based on those requirements you can tune what should be the tuning preparation second step as you see is actually the drive test itself so during drive test you will be collection data and using drive test tools, stem diversification or whatever tools you are using. And once you have done the drive testing, then third phase is the important one, which is drive testing and analysis. So this is we are going, you are going to see how the performance came out to be. Okay. So this phase, which is phase number three is crucial because this is the decision phase, meaning this is the phase which is going to be able to make decision. Okay, are, how are we doing? And these are actually two phases, three and four, post-processing and analysis. So if there aren't things, things are not going the way as, it's, as it should be, as do you expect in the system, then some certain changes needs to be done either in the design or do we need to tweak or tune certain parameters? So those, changes are done in step five recommend changes and, and again once those specific changes have been have been done a report will be given okay this is what we found out and this is what the changes have been made and then those changes will then be implemented again into the network and once again the drive testing will be done in order to make sure that after making those parameter changes after doing those specific tilt optimization or azimuth optimization or tuning the handover boundary parameters is the network or the system performing accordingly or not as we expected it to be and this procedure goes in a cycle as you can step number seven is you very verify the drive testing and analysis after making those changes so it goes into the loop so overall it's a seven step process but then these six steps each one of you may be working in certain domain remember it's a full process but then each one of you can be working in one of this domain there are guys who are only focused in collecting data during drive test there are guys who are only focused in analyzing the drive test drive test data when it is received there are some guys who perform prepare the reports now some of you may be doing all of these things together which is great you know the overall drill and procedure however some guys will be just working on the radio network design portion they are the ones based on the customer requirements working on the radio network design but now looking at the overall flow you can have an overall idea or big understanding how the overall process of initial tuning works so in details as i mentioned for step one you are going to prepare the design according to customer requirement what are the clusters, what the drive test route is, what design and consistency check, and then setting up the drive test tools because after that in step number two, you will be actually performing the drive test and actually doing the drive testing. 
So all the scanners which will be used to collect measurements, you will take UE trace, cell traces, all the data is being collected and it's huge amount of data which later comes out to be processed in step number three and this is where processing takes some time and analysis as well so some of the processing tools could be map info temps investigation which are shown here depending on whatever are the tools which you are using to analyze and process after that step number four will be about analysis of the measured data so in this case you will be able to compare your actual data which you collected with uh, golden cluster let's say if you have a golden cluster setup golden cluster is something which is considered to be an ideal gold standard to compare the any particular cluster or site comparison or statistics with the actual good existing cluster which is we term it as golden cluster depending on what kpis are being measured that again as i mentioned depends on the op operator what are the kps they want to do usually they can do site site shakedown analysis site verification analysis they can do handover analysis so on and so forth once that specific problems have been identified or during the analysis of the measurement of data then you are going to propose or whoever is performing they are going to propose okay these are the problems after analysis we have found out we need to make some changes and report and document them down which is being done in step number five as you can see specifically once those changes are done specifically parameter changes or it could be design changes in the overall network depending on what the outcome was then once those changes are done again drive testing will be done once again so after changes reporting will be done, okay, this was the KPI of the cluster and this is the changes proposed in the reporting step, which is step number six. But step number seven is once again, after those changes, you measure them again. And then after doing those changes, you measure them again and then you verify, cross verify, okay, is the system working accordingly as you expected or not. That's the overall procedure when it comes to initial tuning which is shown in seven steps over here. Now each step can go into further broad detail, but then you have the idea in different departments and sections which are involved collaboration to do one certain task to be performed.